Did someone you know get taken in by one of these hoaxes? Let them know, send them this video. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artie Fischel and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. This one's out there on the internet. Does a viral video of National Guard troops prove that New York is about to declare martial law? No, that's not true. The particular unit captured on camera has been patrolling transportation hubs in New York City since the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. Do go on. According to the spokesperson for the New York State Division of Military and Naval Affairs, the presence of the National Guard in the streets has nothing to do with martial law. Remember, not everything you see online is what it seems. Always fact check before jumping to conclusions. What can you dig up about the next question? Does the appearance of people's hands in the walls for Trump picture confirm that the image was generated by artificial intelligence? No, that's not true. That conclusion appears to have been drawn from the examination of a low-quality version of the image that obscured some of the details present in the original post. I see you have more on your notepad? A better quality version of the picture does not show irregular fingers or hands and AI image detection tools found little evidence the image was generated by AI. Remember, always check the quality of the image before jumping to conclusions, don't let a low quality pic fool you. We should probably look into this next one. Did Kamala Harris say she would shut down X if elected, as posts on social media claimed based on a video where she said, he has lost his privileges? No, that's not true. The video clip on social media is from an interview she did with CNN in 2019. A transcript of her remarks shows her comments were about Trump, she did not say she would shut down X if she were elected president. What else have you found? She said she believed Donald Trump's account on Twitter should be taken down. She did not speak about Elon Musk, who did not own Twitter in 2019. Remember, always fact check before sharing information online. It's easy to get things mixed up. I don't know what to believe about this thing. Does a video posted on X authentically show New York Gov Kathy Hochul unable to open her left eye? No, that's not true. Lead Stories traced the clip back to its original version on YouTube, which showed Hochul with both eyes open and blinking normally while recording a public service announcement for the COVID-19 vaccine. I did not expect that. The video was digitally altered. Remember, always verify the source of videos before jumping to conclusions, don't believe everything you see online. People say you shouldn't believe everything on the internet. But here's a question, does the plan to address prison overcrowding in England and Wales cut short sentences for sexual offenses? No, that's not true. Under current law many inmates typically serve 50% of their sentence in prison, followed by a probation period. A new plan would reduce that to 40% but with exceptions for certain convictions like sexual or violent offenses. Gee, who would have thought? Offenders with convictions for sexual or violent crimes in addition to other ones would still need to serve out the time for the sexual, violent offenses as before although they could see a reduction for the other charges. Remember, always verify the details before sharing news about prison overcrowding plans, don't jump to conclusions. I asked Siri about the next thing, but she didn't know. How about you body? Was the Appalachian High School shooter identified as a trans girl named Samantha Hyde? No, that's not true. An internet hoax that misidentifies the suspect in mass shootings as Sam, or Samantha Hyde, has been going around since 2015. Can you explain that to me like I was five? The 14-year-old suspect in the Georgia school shooting was identified by authorities as 14-year-old Colt Gray. Remember, always verify the identity of suspects in tragic events before sharing information. What can you dig up about the next question? Did former NBA star Michael Jordan turn down a $200 million offer to do a commercial with current NBA star LeBron James, saying he would never work with this woke creep? No, that's not true. This story came from a website that calls itself satirical and fake news. Really, body? A representative for Jordan told Lead Stories, there was no truth to this. Remember folks, always double check your sources before sharing juicy celebrity gossip. Do you have any information on this question? Does a video show vice presidential candidate in Minnesota Gov Tim Walls dancing in a cowboy hat and revealing two-piece outfit? No, that's not true. The original video features another person. What else have you got there? The person in the video's face was altered to look like walls. Remember, always verify the source of a video before sharing, 
don't believe everything you see online. This one seems interesting too, body. Did the Minnesota Vikings football team denounce Tim Walls as a man whose values they do not support? No, that's not true. The comment comes from a satirical Facebook page that explicitly warns readers not to take it seriously. More people should know that. America, love it or leave it categorizes its Facebook page as satire, parody. Remember, not everything you see on social media is meant to be taken seriously. Always double check your sources before sharing information. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.